Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, we praise your holy name, Jesus. I mean, <laughs> your praise shall continually be on my mouth. I word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. This is Minister Paul, and I'm in Northern California on August 2nd, 2014 at 8.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we are looking at Nepal. Uh, I have my wife here. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, and she's the biggest blessing in my life. Um, oh, I'm just excited today. I just came on here quickly to say this. There are many people uh, that God has set in place all around the world uh, to warn, to watch and warn others at, at a great cost to their life. Because we've given our lives to Christ, we're hidden in Christ, and we're not worried about earthly treasures. We're storing up our treasures in heaven. And so I personally, let me speak for me, but I know there's people all across YouTube, Bold Soldier, uh, Rachel. I, I mean, I could go on and on. You start doing names. I could be here for 10 minutes doing names. Um, there, I was checking my, I'm just like speechless when I tell you this story. I was checking my statistics uh, from my videos uh, yesterday and I noticed that I have reached Malaysia. It shows you like what countries your videos are reaching. Malaysia, Japan, Hong Kong, Australia, uh, the UK. A matter of fact, the majority of my videos via percentage are, are viewed from outside of the United States. Jesus Christ said, go and tell the world. Go preach the gospel to all the nations. And then the end shall come. Can I get an amen? amen. We have to... Go ahead, babe. Shout it from the rooftop. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, you see, Jesus. let's just do this. I'm going to say Jesus three times. We on freestyle now. I forgot about this story. <laughs> I'm going to... Um, it's something that the whole atmosphere changes when you begin to call on Jesus. I want the whole world to call on Jesus after I say it. I'm going to say it three times. And you watch the whole environment where you're at change. Because he's at the door, saints, and he promised to come again. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then you say it after me, okay? We're going to say Jesus three times around the world. One, two, three. Jesus! 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 That was beautiful, man. I think mine sound better than that. You, okay, you go first then. No. The last shall be first. Say it one time at least. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Man, you feel that? It's like the whole room just changed with the presence, with the peace and love and joy. The protection provided by Jesus by our faith. You must be born again. Let me get to this story. I'm so happy when my wife's on here. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I should just end the video right here and enjoy. But see, this is what I mean. We, uh, obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay, so we're looking at this uh, highway in Nepal. I'm going to go to these stories. And, and the reason why I, I uh, started off with that is these people what they're saying lines up with the word and it's coming to pass and for some reason as a watchman you never feel like you're reaching enough people and i don't believe you ever will till we go home to war with our lord and savior jesus christ there it's a hunger inside you to warn and i'm encouraging every watchman you know gary uh stephen ben Danun, like i said who am i missing I mean, it's probably someone like comments on my video every day that I'm not thinking about. So I'm just going to say all watchmen and women and messengers. Oh, Barb 278 Pike. Uh, Pike Lake. Sister Barb. It's amazing. 
man, I just want to end the video and go run around the backyard. <laughs> you know, yesterday was 107 degrees here. And today we have the, the back door open. Let me check the temperature. There's, there's a breeze out there, huh, babe? Yeah, it's Look, nice. The weather people don't know what the weather's going to do. It's cloudy and it says 70 degrees. Yes, it was supposed to be 108 today. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think something else is going to happen. So, last week I took like a week off from videos and, and Facebook to be with my father, my dad, John. And uh, it, it's truly a blessing, huh, my hun? Yeah. Uh, you love my dad? Yeah. I love my dad. For the record, I love my dad, John. And I pray for him daily. Yesterday, the neatest thing happened. I know I'm going to get to this story. Just give me a second. <laughs> I'm just flowing. I took my I took my dad shopping. Um, and we walked around and he got some stuff. And I took him back to his home. Um, and what I do is I lay my hand on his shoulder and I'll say a prayer every time I see him since he got hospitalized. He was in the hospital for two weeks, approximately two weeks ago. He got out two weeks ago, so it's been a month. Can you believe that, babe? It's been a month since my dad went to the hospital. Wow. And he's been out for two weeks. It's crazy, huh? Time is uh, speeding up. So, I'm not rambling. This video is just for everybody. Um, I said, Dad, would you like me to pray for you uh, before you go into your apartment? Because I was going to come home. And uh, he said, let me pray for you. I'm like, man. Remember, this is the one we're praying for just for salvation. And he puts his hand on my chest. And he begins to thank the Lord for bringing this ble me, his blessing. Thanking the Lord for the blessings that I'm, I'm helping him, that I'm there for them that are uh, all the, the the helpful things I'm doing for him. And he was just, and at the end, I, he, he, I, I felt like he was about ready to cry. It's a beautiful thing that the one getting prayed for, for salvation, is now laying hands on me and praying for me. That's what it's all about, saints. And I received that prayer and drove away with a tear in my eye, just amazed at what Christ can do. So suddenly this story doesn't seem that important, but as a as a watchman, I must uh, look at this three seven. Oh, and today's my uh, my wife's uh, sister's birthday, right, Mama? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. My bad. Well, she don't get two days of birthday. Uh, look at that three seven. So before I took my break for a week, I, I said. The Lord told me the word avalanche. It was a vision. Matter of fact, it was a vision. It was a vision of an avalanche. Remember, if you could find this video, it doesn't seem important to me right now about the, the video that I made. But more important, that what everybody is seeing is coming true. And what the watchmen are seeing and dreaming and people having dreams and visions, according to Joel 2 and Acts 2, are, are coming to pass so quickly means that Jesus Christ is at the door. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Pastor Dave, I want to mention him. Pastor Dave, he, he's going to, I'm going to put an article that he shared, broke this uh, just a couple hours ago. Um, what was I just saying, my hon? It's early. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. That's the earliest I've been up in about 10 years. Um, what we're seeing is coming true. So I had this vision that I was I was shown this cliff, this this it went straight up kind of, and the Lord said avalanche, and it was falling down upon a city. Does everybody remember that? That has happened twice. This is the second one today. This is the importance of being obedient to what the Lord shows you, despite persecution and mocking, to just put it out. The watchman sees the sword coming, he sounds the alarm. Now I wonder, in this story I'm going to share that Pastor Dave broke about the water being contaminated, I wonder if there's more people we could have reached. I hope there's no blood on anybody's hands. I sincerely want to get serious now. 
uh, in Kathmandu, Nepal, a massive landslide killed at least eight people, eight people in the eighth month, and blocked a mountain river in northern Nepal on Saturday, causing the water to form a lake that was threatening to burst and sweep several villages. Several villages. Now understand, look at this, three at 3 a.m., uh, 75 miles east of Kathmandu. I think I'm going to Kathmandu. Is that... Let me stop. People say I'm a fear monger, so I'm uh, I'm just trying to say this with peace. Um, so they have an emergency meeting. The water has already formed a lake three kilometers in length. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do, this is why I put up this Arnico Highway connects Nepal to Tibet is closed after this landslide and villagers have been ordered to move to higher ground. Telephone and electronic lines were disrupted. Now, I, I'll put a link to this story and Pastor Dave's story about the Great Lakes water. Um, this is a serious story. Links to both of these stories is contaminating, boiling it. It's the, it says treat the water like a level three snow emergency. And if you want to find more on this, just uh, Google Toledo's Collins Park water treatment plant and what's happening is they have a bacteria that has became toxic and, and uh, let's see how I found that do not drink water advisory this is affects Ohio and Michigan and uh, look at all the areas that it affects right here all of Lucas County remember when I did that video on Lucas County see sometimes you just got to flow with the Holy Spirit and be bold in it and, and people will say you know they'll question it but if it's from the Lord it shall come to pass and I wonder how many people could we have reached if we'd been more obedient and listening harder for the, the Holy Spirit and warning instead of taking our own little breaks because we feel tired or wore out Look, we can rest when we get home I'm putting links to all this but I want to encourage all of the watchmen and people that accepted the call as a watchman and have counted the cost and have never made a video yet. Look, we're almost home. It's almost over. There's people to reach. God told me uh, earthquakes. God told me uh, outbreaks. God told me uh, I was in the war room. War would break out. And, and look, we're in a four moon blood tetrap. And I don't feel like people are awake. And I'm like, I'm going to keep on shouting it. I'm going to keep on pressing forward. I'm going to keep on believing. I'm going to keep on receiving. I'm going to keep on sounding the alarm. Because this is what I've been called and anointed to do. This. Don't question your calling, saints. Have anything of uh, wisdom to impart to these beautiful people? Let me first say, uh, we pray for everybody involved in all this. And by, by saying that prayer, you have to include the whole entire world. Because everybody's going through something. We pray for you. Any wisdom, babe? Start your morning thinking about Jesus, thanking Him for what you have. Even if you don't have everything that you need in your life, you thank Him for what you have. Amen. Thank you, Gail. You're welcome, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Can we be serious? Um, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for what He's provided. Amen.